Well, good morning to you. Uh, it's um, it's Sunday the 9th of April uh, 2017 and um, what I'm going to do today is uh, put uh, what they call a pollen trap onto the front of one of my hives for 24 hours. Uh, the pollen trap will be uh, used to obviously capture pollen from the hive and then later be used in a queen starter um, uh, colony that I'll be de developing later on in the month. But this is a proprietary item that I purchased. Um, it's fairly self-explanatory. Uh, can't quite see if I'm showing it all there. Uh, we've got a slider mechanism in there that um, uh, lets the uh, pollen drop through from the bee's legs and there's a filter unit in there hopefully the right size because this is a proprietary item the right size holes there just to make sure that the pollen is scraped off of the bees there as they enter there's the pollen trap having not used one of these before uh, it's a bit of uh, an experiment uh, but uh, again I'm sure it works uh, this little black clip here that I put on here is actually for a, a video camera that I'm going to uh, take a little bit of film of in a minute um, this slider mechanism can yeah, come in and out so in theory you could leave this on the front of the hive uh, lest the um, uh, the filter mechanism uh, and let the bees uh, you know just go in and out through that uh, unit but as I say I want to leave it on here for 24 hours whilst the sun is out today see what happens and um, then come back tomorrow and take it off but uh, let's get in there and put it on the hive so the hive that I'm going to put it on is uh, hive one at uh, the apiary here on the eastern side of uh, Swindon and I've had a quick look at the uh, instructions and I feel by far the best method to uh, retain this in place is actually using a couple of bungee straps but anyway let's uh, firstly take out the entrance block Then What I've got to do is put a little bit of uh, rubber in the uh, the side areas. Agitated them a little bit. Let's put my other camera on there to see what happens. Okay, let's uh, leave them to it there now, see what develops. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Hold it. April and I've now collected the pollen trap off of Hive 1 at uh, the eastern side of Swindon uh, this morning. I'm, I'm, can I say, I'm not so sure if I'm disappointed or not but there is a quantity of pollen in there. As I say I don't know really what I'm looking for in quantity that is. Uh, I'm not going to tip it up too much there but what I'll do is I'll put it wind's blowing. I'll put it in the container and show you the, um, the quantity there and the variety. And there is quite a variety. So, uh, let's just tip that uh, camera so that you can see it. There we've got the result. Um, as I say, that is sort of 24 hours worth. Um, but I'm going to try it a few more times on the other hives as well um, because I do need quite a, quite a volume in there. Uh, continue to come back and uh, see uh, the developments. Bye for now. <laughs> 